right, so it's 7.30. I've had a, a bit of a schedule change at work. I'm on the midnight shift now. Today's my second day. Finally getting to drive home and gonna go to sleep. So it's thrown off my schedule uh, with every, uh, everything with the gym and stuff. I'm still uh, going, but um, I'm exhausted right now. This. Uh, this change in sleep schedule has killed me, so I'm gonna get home and sleep, but I might have a surprise waiting for me when I get up. I'll show you. I hope it's here. Sent it next door. Uh, I see it. It's here. Are you gonna help me open it, Bill? So, welcome to my new toy. Let's get it open. Alrighty, let's see how this one works. What bam Better video, better audio. I already know it's better. I'm here at the grocery store. I'm gonna do a grocery haul video for you. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I buy on a cut. Um, it's gonna be a little similar than what I buy on a bulk, but that'll come later down the line. So let's head inside and see what I buy. We 
just gotta check the eggs. So that store didn't have the beef that I use or any Granny Smith apples, so I gotta go to another store. Oh well. Now I'm gonna set this all up. Not bad, easier than I thought. All right guys, so this is essentially what I buy every week, week in and week out, I eat the same thing. Um, so for the protein I have whole eggs, egg whites. If you buy anything you buy that says 100% liquid egg whites, that's gonna be good, it's all the same stuff. Um, for lunch, for second lunch I'll have or dinner even, um, chicken. So I usually do like six ounces of chicken and then I'll do four ounces of beef every day. Um, so there's my proteins. Um, for carbs, we have in the, for breakfast, I have oatmeal, these little oatmeal um, pouches, better oats, steel cut. I like steel cut. I feel like they, uh, my body responds to them a lot better. Um, but I buy these little pouches. They're awesome and they're convenient. They're easy to make and they don't really boil over that much. Um, so in the oatmeal, I'll add, I'll add honey, about a tablespoon. Um, that sweetens it up a little bit. It gets a little sugar going to kickstart my day. And then I'll add two tablespoons of peanut butter in there as well. I really like the combo. I don't know why. A lot of people think that it's weird, but it's damn good until you don't knock it until you try it. Um, we got brown rice. I'll eat that twice a day. Um, about three quarters of a cup cooked, which is which took me forever to find. A quarter cup dry is three quarters cup cooked. Keep that in mind, because it's hard as hell to find. You'll get tripped up on it when you're counting your calories and everything. Um, I don't have any here, but baby red potatoes I'll eat. Um, so keep in mind with the wider, the wider the, um, the carb is, so baby red potatoes, white rice, um, the starchier they are and the more simple, uh, more of a simple carb they are, the, the more color that they have, the more brown that they are, um, then the more complex the carb is. So basically what that means is your body digests them at different speeds. So um, I eat the baby reds right after a workout because they'll get to my muscles quicker, whereas the, um, the brown rice and the oatmeal will take a little bit longer. Um, complex is where is really what you're looking for um, if you're trying to lose weight. Um, 
And then I got apples. I'll eat one Granny Smith apple a day. I'll eat about a cup of blueberries a day. Um, this is where if I'm cutting calories, usually it's in the blueberries or, um, or the rice. Uh, for for uh, veggies, because veggies are important, we got broccoli and spinach. Um, those are my two mainstays. I'll eat Brussels sprouts here and there or asparagus, but that's very rare. Usually it's just broccoli and spinach. And then for seasonings, we got, like I said, the seasoning salt. Um, for chicken, when it gets boring or when it gets gross, because you're eating this for, I'm eating this for 12 weeks, obviously I'm going to get used to it. Obviously it's going to get a little boring, but I'll take this uh, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. Um, no calories, so I don't really know what's in it, but hey, it's no calories, so don't have to write anything down there. Um, I season a bunch of stuff, pretty much everything, with black pepper. Um, the grinder is better, but that was cheaper if you're going for a budget. Um, if I have to spray anything, I take the Pam olive oil. Um, I don't use the regular Pam, I just buy the olive oil one. Um, I like it, it works good. I don't really have to spray much anyways. I grill my meats and I use a non-stick pan for my eggs, but once that stops working, I'll have to spray it. And then we have the best seasoning of all time. Uh, my fiance introduced me to this and I'm so grateful for it because if you don't use adobo, you need to start now. I can literally put this on chicken, on beef, on eggs, on anything. This stuff rocks. You need to try it out at least. They, buy, they sell like smaller ones. Buy that first. I, I promise you, you're not going to dislike it. Adobo's, adobo's awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, and then obviously the water. Um, hydration is, por is important. I bought three of these puppies today. So that'll, be, that'll last me a good week, maybe two um, for some of it. Uh, these have like 10 pouches in them, so... Yeah, that'll last me a while. So guys, hopefully uh, you took something away from this video and learned something. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep following along, keep getting videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one. I think we'll learn something in the gym on that one. See ya.